Okay, so let's talk about components. In the previous video, I said that I could add components to my empty game object that I've got here. So I talked about adding an audio source component to play a sound. Now that's just one example of a component. You can access components from the components menu up at the top here, or you can add them dynamically using scripts. Now we're gonna just use one um, that's quite a typical thing that you might wanna use. Um, and what I'm going to do is to add a component to my sphere and make it bounce. Okay, so I'm going to first of all expand my box a little bit. Let's just make that into some kind of uh, floor that I've got there. And then I'm going to take my sphere and I'm going to position it above that box. And I'm going to say component, physics component rigid body okay now a rigid body is a type of component that will make something have its own mass and you can also use gravity and basically use the physics engine that's in the game so a component in this sense is something that adds a functionality to a game object what you'll notice is about the sphere is it's got other components as well so the transform we've already talked about, that handles the position, rotation, and scale. And I can type values into these boxes or hover over and drag to adjust them. Uh, I'm going to leave that on one. Um, and then it's got a mesh filter. So that's the actual shape of the sphere itself. It's got a sphere collider component. Um, and collider is handling uh, its interactions with other objects. It's got a mesh renderer component, which is handling um, how the object looks in the 3D environment. And then it's got the rigid body, which we just added. You can remove components or reset their settings by clicking on the cog on the right here. And you can click on the book in order to bring up the reference manual for that particular component. So now that I've added that rigid body component, my sphere will do more than just stay statically when I press play. So if I press play, it's going to fall to the ground because it's using gravity. So that's what components do. They add functionality to a particular game object. You can adjust any setting of a component using a script, or you can adjust settings using the inspector uh, before you play the game.